This past weekend, Hawaii experienced a series of rare but potentially dangerous rise in seawater levels, affecting not only the coastal areas but inland as well. And scientists are predicting more on the way. Reporting on this is our EBC Hawaii correspondent, Georgi Karnate. Georgi. The weather forecast for the Memorial Day weekend was expected to be pleasant overall. Because this was also the unofficial start of summer in the U.S., many people took advantage by going to the beach like this one in Waikiki. And this is what they encountered. Seeing tides are exceptionally rare even for Hawaii. These tides go above the highest water level reach during high tide on a normal day. The effects of the king tides were not restricted to the coastlines. Other low-lying areas such as the industrial zone outside the airport were also flooded. Still, tourists and residents alike try to get on with their lives. In fact, the rising waters did not hinder a local Church of Christ congregation in Diamond Head in their beach cleanup and missionary activities along Waikiki. In response to this rare event, the Center for Coastal and Climate Science and Resilience, which is sponsored by the University of Hawaii, has asked the general public to submit photos of the effects of king tides in their neighborhoods. The center's objective, among others, is to promote research education and awareness towards improving coastline resiliency while protecting the environment. According to the U.S. National Weather Service, the next king tides in Hawaii are expected to happen around late June and late July. Reporting from Honolulu, Hawaii, this is Joji Karnate for Eagle News. I am one with 25.